Welcome to the long-awaited Sims 3 Hunger Games Season 4! I'm so excited to introduce the characters for this season. You're gonna see a lot of familiar faces that you've seen on my channel before, so that's awesome! And just to cover the basics of the series, the Sims 3 Hunger Games, uh, my series, is basically when I kind of interpret the Hunger Games, like the, the, the books and the movies, uh, in a Sims way. So it doesn't follow the Hunger Games rules exactly because it really can't with how the Sims works and so it's like a loose interpretation of the Hunger Games uh, based in a Sims world. So that's what the series is all about. Eight Sims compete to see who will survive. There's a link in the description to seasons one, two, and three if you missed those or need to catch up on them. And let's start season four with an introduction of all of the tributes that will be competing in this season. Introducing our first two contestants. You may know Raquel from... Ugh, I can't take two hours of that horrible... Two hours of that horrible... <laughs> <laughs> horrible, horrible! <laughs> Raquel, get away from me! God, there's gonna be a girl fight between me and Raquel. She's like constantly on my ass. Raquel! Oh, you're such a bitch! I hate her so much! From Barbie's Dream House, and you may know Alfred from Love. Kelly's Police Jesus Brigade. Alfred, Jesus! It's not that serious, Alfred! Alfred, calm down. Alfred's a little crazy, man. Alfred! That is so not necessary. Oh my god! It's necessary! It's fucking necessary! She hasn't got a gun! Oh! Oh shit, I just beat a random woman! I'm trying to... Look how happy... Alfred, what the fuck are you... Alfred! Oh, Alfred, what the hell, man? Alfred's unorthodox ways in dealing with the law may prove to be very useful in the Hunger Games. Raquel is constantly trying to go behind people's backs in order to uh, kind of mess up whatever it is they're doing. She doesn't care what it is. She's ready to just be a dick. So uh, we'll have to watch out for her in the Hunger Games. Our next contestant, recently very popular and a little controversial, Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird, I've played it once, and after playing it once, I lost pretty much all faith in humankind. So, <laughs> I don't get it, you guys. I just don't. I, it's just not for me. I understand why it's addictive. I get that, but not for me. Uh, Flappy Bird, I, mm, you know, I think they're, I think Flappy Bird's probably just gonna die. But then, there, like, there's this little piece of me that thinks... Flappy Bird's gonna take it all the way. Surprisingly deep in meditation, our next tribute is Sharkeisha. Famous for a viral video in which she... Sharkeisha punched a bitch. I have no idea how to describe that punch, but it's... It's... You just say Sharkeisha. I think Sharkeisha has the edge to win the Hunger Games, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on her. Is there's no telling when she might just punch one of her opponents out. Completely out, gone, out of the Hunger Games, dead. Our next contestant is known on the internet as Pedo Bear. Now because children are all too familiar with the appearance of a bear in terms of people they should beware, that rhymed, oh yes. <laughs> the Pedo Bear has since moved on to dressing as a bunny rabbit in hopes to... That was close. He could have got knocked out right there. And he should have, because he's, you know, he's Pedo Bear. No one's, well, Pedo Bunny now, but deep down, he's always Pedo Bear. I, you know, I see Pedo Bear uh, probably dying right away. Probably the first contestant, or first tribute to uh, die. Oh, Sharkeisha, watch out! No, she's underage! This isn't right! Oh, no! His pedo bear attack! Run, Sharkeisha! Run! Turn around! Knock his ass out! Now! No, Clementine! It's a trap! Our next contestant, a fan favorite in Telltale Games Walking Dead, Clementine is back. And she is here, a tribute for the Hunger Games. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? 
I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> Clementine's such a troll. <laughs> Clementine still holds on to her childish charm, but she's older now and has quite a few years of experience under her belt in terms of surviving on her own. So I think she's going to be a really good candidate to win for this season four Hunger Games. Oh my god. And our next contestant, Lee Everett, also from the Walking Dead Telltale Games version. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Whoa. I think about you too. <laughs> group is small. You're small. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're a convicted killer. Connie. Jeez. <clears throat> and I think people should know. Lee might have what it takes to reach the end. Now, I don't know who would win. What if Lee and Clementine both make it to the end? Who's going to win then? Oh my god, are they on a date? <laughs> you guys, they just started flirting and then the hearts appeared. Why? No, Lee, you do not. No, not Raquel, not Raquel. One, I think she's underage. Two, uh, no. <laughs> you can't. She's too mean for you. Lee's a nice guy. Raquel's evil. Oh, I thought he was going to slap her because he realized, but he didn't. Oh, no. Our next contestant, Ethan Mars from Heavy Rain, risked all to save his son. So I think he might have a good chance of winning the Hunger Games. He seems always, like, you know, doing willing to do anything to survive. So we'll see what he brings to the table. Oh, did this motherfucker just slip? Did he just hit me in the face? I shouldn't have let your bitch ass win. Wow. Right? And these are the Sims Hunger Games Season 4 contestants or tributes, whatever you want to call them. Who do you guys want to win? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're excited for the season, like the video. Or just let me know in the comments again, or whatever. Um, I'm really excited for this one just because it's a lot of characters we've played games of, or that are characters in games that I've played on my channel, so I'm pretty excited for it. And then there's also like Flappy Bird and Sharkeisha and Petto Bear, so like pop culture references. So I don't know, I think this is a cool mix of characters and I'm really excited for it. The competition itself will start the next episode when they move into the Hunger Games house. I hope you guys are excited and goodbye. Here's a bonus clip. Well, this is an unexpected friendship that could possibly be occurring. No, Clementine, run! Don't be around him. Oh, Sharkeisha will defend her.